two high school, Bowser and Waite, battling to separate themselves in the City League. Indians with the bases loaded in the bottom of the first. Georgia Brandon gets the swinging strikeout to get out of the jam and end the inning. Top two Blue Racers now with the bases loaded. No one out, but Sierra Thompson would strike out back-to-back -back batters before getting a ground out to end the threat. Bowser would get one in the third. Brandon helping herself. Hard grounded a short. That's going to bring a run home. But the weight bats would wake up in the fifth. Runners on second and third for Allie Rucky. Places a double down the left field line. Two runs come in to score as the Indians take it 13-2 in five innings with a couple of key defensive plays sparking the weight offense. It just builds up like the team and everybody wants to like keep going with it and everything. I've never dove or anything like I just I was going for it. Do you think a defensive play like that carries over to offense because you've had two big innings right after those? Yeah, I really think it does. It really helps build up like adrenaline and gets everybody wanting to play like we know how to play. Kevin Milliken and Scott Tucker have more. Wade High School hosting the Bowser Blue Racers in a key softball matchup in the City League and today Wait simply had their number, winning 13 to two. And Scott, it was just a matter of one being able to get runs across the plate and the other one stranding them. Yeah, Wait, uh, cold temperature today, but hot bats out of Wait. And as you said, the tail of two cities there a little bit. And Bowser be able to get some base runners on, but then Wait coming up big, playing some defense, and Bowser, uh, Bowser just not getting the big hit when they needed it. The Lady Indians um, are a very young team with just two seniors, but they are battery mates. Pitcher Sierra Thompson and catcher Allie Rucky, both of them had big games getting on base a lot. Rucky with four RBIs in the game, and twice she ended the inning on key defensive plays, diving for a foul ball that she just crashed into the ground. And another time, she got a relay throw and held her ground at home plate on an attempted inside the park home run to end the very first inning. And both of those defensive plays gave the offense momentum. Yeah, uh, the battery did really well today. As you said, uh, Rucky did a great job behind the plate, played great defense. But overall, it was the defense and some big plays by Wade's defense that turned the ball back over to the, the big hitters, and their hitters came up big today. And pitcher Sierra Thompson dialed it in when she needed to. Boucher ended up stranding 10 runners on the day.